we were just walking the course, making sure that everything was up to up to code, up to par, and making sure that the athlete safety was on the tops of our heads. In mud spots, a couple tree roots, I'd say a handful of tree roots that, that were marked. We started playing the course out probably around a year ago, um, knowing that we wanted to do it, or it was our turn and we wanted to host, and we wanted to bring the championship back to Fredonia's campus. Uh, opposed to the state park where it was uh, in 2011. Sewer flagged the, the entire course on uh, Tuesday afternoon, Wednesday afternoon, painted it uh, Thursday, uh, started flagging it Thursday, uh, and then we finished up with uh, some minor st stuff at the start finish area this morning. So the course is a, 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 a 2,000 meter loop uh, with with a fairly uh, decent start and finish uh, lengthwise. It's fairly flat, you know, from the lowest point to the highest point, it's only a 33 foot elevation change. Um, so in my eyes, that's a, that's flat as a pancake. Um, d definitely some some muddy spots out there that the that every athlete doesn't matter what school you're in is gonna is gonna have to fight with. We're gonna do a couple things, try and dry that up uh, tonight. So hopefully that the the forecasted rain for tomorrow it, it won't be too detrimental. As long as the athletes are smart, keep a good head on their shoulders, and want to compete, it's gonna be it's gonna be a good race. The Suniac has been getting so competitive so quickly this is the ultimate prize that these 10 teams are, are fighting for it's going to be a dog fight you know absolutely